My name is Brian Wesley Williams. I am a professional track and field sprinter. I am also a fitness enthusiast. I do group training, one-on-ones, personal training, and I'm also a fitness model here in Los Angeles. So when I was in middle school, I was always the fastest kid. I was always claimed to be the fastest kid in class, and I took I took a lot of pride to that. And when I, because that was pretty much the only thing I was really good at at the time, as far as being a group go. But you know, when I got to high school, I got to football. Football season ended, so I needed to stay in shape. And sure enough, I joined a track team. And you know, I got in a track team, and you know, I started beating all the fast kids in the team. And started going to track me, start winning races, start being very, very good at it. And I kind of like made a commitment towards it. So football. So the next fall, in the following season, football season came. You know, I was the fastest kid in the team. I was put as tailback, corner, wide receiver. I was always, always the fastest guy in the, on the field and whatnot. And very, very prestigious means like Arcadia and whatnot. My fastest time became a 10:58. I was 10th in the state two years in a row. And I got recruited to play football, run track at Arizona State. So I got to Arizona State. Coach got fired. Got a new spring coach that got to the program. They didn't know who, they didn't know each other. They didn't know me. So I came in here with a partial track scholarship. And when I got there, you know what I'm saying, I was, was verbatimly told I was gonna play football there, but they were like, no, you're not. So I ended up sticking with track at that time. And I'm kind of glad that it turned out that way because you know, I'm not, I haven't really experienced concussions, shoulder problems, knee problems, you know, common football injuries and whatnot. And I do know that guys who are my age, which I'm 28 right now, guys who are still into football in the NFL or some other type of league, are they started football at a younger age in a professional league. To this day, they're dealing with a lot of issues as far as injuries go. So when I go to the track, the smell, of the, when the sun hits the track and the smell of that rubber, that turns me on. I love the smell of it. I love that it makes me want to go work out more and whatnot. When I go to environments like Arizona State track, UCLA, USC track, and whatnot, people get in and whatnot, that motivates me in order for me to go out there and do my thing. Cause I won't break, no, I know I won't wait. You're in trouble, me. I love being around people who are faster than me or better at me in some aspects of sprinting because that makes me want to adapt, be more resilient, and produce myself in order for me to be better than them and whatnot. Now, as far as the gym go, I mean, I just love the sound of weights clamping, grunting, weights falling down. I love training at gym with no air conditioning because I love the sweat and whatnot. I love, I just love the environment. And when that's something that I crave, when I was working for that aerospace, in that aerospace company, I'd be sitting in my office just banging my head on the wall because I, I just can't wait to be there because I just crave it and whatnot. So that's why, that's what I love about those facilities. So it's all about, as an athlete, you gotta have your priorities in order. You know, when you go into a training facility, you're going there, and you're going there for a purpose and a pur my purpose is to run fast. So I need to do the necessary things I need to do in order for me to run fast. So, and so and go, when I go in a training facility, I go in there to make sure that I have the proper exercises to maximize the function I need in order for me to go and do my sprints. So that being said, sprinting is an anaerobic movement. It's a very dynamic connected tissue movement. So, that, so using every single muscle fiber in your body, every single ounce of energy in your body in order for you to run fast. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna burn a lot of fat, and it's going to make, and then you got to have a lot of power, so you got to do some heavy lifting in order for you to build more mass, and that creates aesthetics. Now, it, so that being said, the aesthetic just came along. It's something that I don't focus on. It's just something that just happened to just be there. So, in order for you to run faster, you got to understand how the body moves. You got to understand posture. You got to understand how you know how your legs move, how your arm swings, and that being said and whatnot, you got to be able to apply a lot of power into your sprinting because sprinting is a connected tissue movement. And whatnot, using every single muscle fiber in your body in order for you to do a specific movement. So that being said, if you understand power, you're able to go to the gym, do your deadlifts, do your squats, do your power cleans, hang cleans, and you got to have strength into, in order to apply power 
So that means that you gotta do a lot of strength exercises to make your core strong and whatnot in order for you to do this movement. And if you're able to exceed in those two emphasis, you're able to continue to run faster. And on top of the uh, power, and, power and strength movements, you got to maintain mobility and integrity. You gotta have the proper range of motion, you gotta stretch, you gotta foam roll, you gotta have the correct body, body posture in order for you to maximize your sprint so you don't hit plateaus. So, so again, you're gonna hit plateaus as an athlete. In order for you to break those plateaus, you gotta train smart. In order for you to train smart, you gotta look at your weaknesses, and by looking at your weaknesses, you gotta, make, you gotta identify what you suck at. So, you know, I'm born skinny guy, I got small joints, um, I'm not naturally big at all or anything like that. So that being said, I don't produce power and strength naturally. I gotta really work for it. I gotta like eat a lot of food, drink a lot of protein, eat a lot of protein, get some carbs in me and whatnot. And at the same time, I gotta go to the gym and actually push some heavy weight in order for me to pr produce more mass in my body. So the first thing that, the first focus in a gym Obviously, get on a bike, reactivate the muscles, reactivate the core, get the body sweating again in order for you to do your workout, and then foam roll. And the first movement, the first type of exercise that I focus on in a gym is power moves, connective tissue work and whatnot, which is today was hand clean and power clean. Hand clean and power clean is a good exercise in order for you to teach your body how to be fast. Because you're getting a, a big, big heavy weight, and you got to use your speed, and you got to use technique and form in order for you to get underneath it. And whatnot. Second to that will be strength training. So I'm a big, I'm a big advocate to a five on five, uh, five on five reps and set ratio. So you can focus on strength and be able to have connective, in order for you to work on every single muscle fiber, whatever body part that you're working on. And whatnot. the reason why I train chest is because you know, the chest is your large, is, your, is one of the largest muscles in your upper body, along with the lats. You're, you can use your chest to swing your arms and swing it up because the faster you move your arms, the faster your legs will react to it. And then afterwards, I train endurance, high reps, a lot of sets, ratios, reps of 20 to recruit more fibers as a finishing touch. So supplements is an asset to your nutrition. You eat the right foods that you need to do in order for you to get what you need. Supplements take it to a higher level as far as like the things that you need go. So the first type of supplements that I make a focus on is vitamins. So I need fish oil, vitamins for fertility, and make sure I get the proper body function in order for me to let my body do what it needs to do in order for it to stay healthy. The second, the second focus I, focus, I, I attack as far as like supplements go is protein. I need a certain amount of protein a day in order for me to recover, in order for me to go back the next day for my body to build and for me to keep on doing the things I need to do in order for me to keep growing. So the third will be BCAAs, amino acids, which is uh, uh, which is uh, asset to the protein or for the process inside your body. Fourth is pretty much glutamine, and five is pretty much you know whatever whatever vitamin or so that I'm lacking inside my body that I don't produce enough. What's very very important is you fulfill yourself from within, like. Like kind of like what Arnold Schwarzenegger said, like when you wake up in the morning, what's the first thing you think about? What's the first thing that you crave to do when you get out of bed and whatnot? And whatever it is, it can be the craziest thing in the world. It can be the, being a president of the United States, being a NASCAR driver, it can be a parachute diver, whatever. It can be a scuba diver, all I care and whatnot. If it's something that you crave to do and you're very, very passionate about it, make a life out of that as opposed to what society should tell you what to make a life out of.